What is up, guys? What is up? Black Steel is in the his house. Watch your mouth. How you guys doing? Try to be on time. It's raining real bad. It's raining real bad out here in uh, PA. It started in Ohio. So I'm just now getting getting myself together. How's everybody Monday though? There we go. There go my people. Karen is here. Mike Badge is here. What is up? Mike Wolf is into his house. Les, what's up, Les? How you doing, Mike Badger? John Isabella's in the house. Lincoln is in the his house. I got my I got my coin family here. Everybody everybody's popping in. Everybody's popping in and popping up. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. Welcome to Copper Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, I always got some good stuff to give away. Congrats to Mike Wolf again. I'm going to do a special giveaway for Mike Wolf tonight. Mike Wolf been here with me for a long time since I was like probably at 100 subscribers. Maybe less than that. So I got... Uh, Might be sixteen. Oh, let me see. Refresh, guys. I gotta refresh. Refresh myself. And guys, make sure you smash that thumbs up for me. <laughs> okay, so let's get this party started. <laughs> Let me get a water real quick.
What I got? I got me a water. Are you guys ready for West Point Wednesdays? I'm going to start a new one as well, West Point Wednesdays. We'll be going through rows of quarters. And um, looking for those W's, guys. We're going to look for those W's. West Point Wednesdays, baby. Let's start the party. Mike Wolf has reached a major milestone. Congrats, congrats. How's, how's the screen looking, guys? How's the sound? Whitney Balls, what is up? Thank you for being here, Whitney. I appreciate that. I started off with these little rows for uh, West Point Wednesdays, and guess what? And guess what? My ender was. That is a 2009. These things are hard to find. I love the 2009 uh, quarters. I'm trying to make a full row. I got a, a half a row already over there. I'm stacking together, but that is beautiful. I think that's Guam. And chunky butt. So yeah, West Point Wednesdays, guys. We're gonna be looking for those W Mint quarters. We're gonna have some giveaways, baby. So, well, you guys know how I go for in uh, in the stream giveaway for the donators. A one ounce copper round. It will be one winner. That's the right to bear arms. One winner for tonight. A one ounce copper round. So you guys got to put your boxing gloves on. You're going to fight for it. Um, for Mike Wolf, for Mike Wolf, I want to give away one gram of silver. That's a gram right there. I'm going to do a giveaway for Mike Wolf. That's my buddy. He been here when I was a puppy. Since I was a little pup. We're giving this away for Mike Wolf tonight. That's one gram of silver for the awesome gentleman. Yeah, Mike, Mike Badger, that's the Second Amendment. This is three nines fine silver. So we'll be giving this away to everybody that's in the chat. Three nines fine silver, baby. <laughs> you went out and got you some spam today, huh, Mike? <laughs> I'm having ranch bacon pizza. However they made that. This is for Mike Wolf right here, guys. For the chat room. He didn't ask me to do it. I do it from the bottom of my heart. If I feel it. And I felt it. And we're giving that away that one gram. So you want to be around. You got to do the beat for the free giveaways guys. Just be here to participate. That's it. Whatever the game is. To be played for the giveaway. Just participate. No, You don't need to donate. Just participate. Stay positive. And let's get the show on the road. Or the road on the show. Les Y, what is up? I said what's up to you, my brother. <laughs> I hope I ain't miss you. I don't think I did. So let's crack him, let's crack them open, guys. For a $10 donation, the way it goes, if you're new here, $10 donation gets you four rows. Your name into tonight's drawing for the copper round three times.
and you get one automatic quarter ounce of copper for a ten dollar donation which comes out of this beautiful tube full of coppers for a thirty dollar donation you get your name into tonight's drawing nine times you get one you get 12 rows one bag pool the bag pool has 35 percent silvers in there um, 90 percent silvers or a slab you can pull out of the bag pool the bank bag pool is always something awesome in the bank bag pool five ounce rounds of copper uh ounces of silver 90 percenters you never know what's in that bank bag slabs so I mix them up. I mix them up a lot. And that's how we do it. That is how we do it. You guys going to love West Point Wednesdays also. It's going to be crazy. West Point Wednesdays is going to be crazy. Also for tonight's giveaway. This will be the first giveaway, and we'll do Mike Wolf giveaway at the end of the stream. These are just some Lincoln scents that was, well, the steel scent, I think the steel scent is real. It's an actual steel scent. Some experimental scents, some Lincoln scents. You got that funny brown one right there. This is a 1991. You got the 1943 steel scent. And you got the 96 gold scent. I don't know how they made that gold, but it's gold. Ohio, Karen. You know I you know I keep him from Ohio. I'm gonna get some boxes from Chicago again. Um next Copper Monday, I have some boxes from Chicago. Next Copper Monday, I have some boxes for, for, from Chicago. <laughs> Me too, Mike. <laughs> so you heard it here first. See somebody stealing my idea. You know, Black Steel is a trendsetter. It's cool, though. We bounce, we bounce ideas off each other. But this will be for the first giveaway. It's a wheat steel scent. A gold plated 96 and that copper looking 91. That'd be for the first giveaway. And we'll do a gram of silver for Mike Wolf for hitting that 1K. I got John Isabella in the house. Jesse probably busy right now. Jesse got a big family. She probably trying to get the kids settled down. Yeah, my channel don't got that many mods. I keep I keep uh the maximum mods I have on my channel is four. Four mods. But I got three mods. It's room for another mod, but at the same time, I don't know. Um, you got to be dedicated to the channel to be a mod, actually. That's the way I do it. So whoever's here all the time, that's who gets that wrench. The blue one, though, not the orange and black one. But let's get it started, guys. I got the boxes from Ohio. It's an old box. I haven't touched it. I also got a mail call.
Turn your volume up, Les. He <laughs> said you're not talking to me. <laughs> can anybody can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Can you guys put a one in the chat? One in the chat if you can hear me. Thank you guys. Okay, thank you. Okay, Les can hear me. <laughs> now I was saying Les, like, I only keep four, like four mods. I don't know where you stopped hearing me, but I got, I keep four mods on my channel. Jesse usually helped me run the channel real well. Uh, John, John Isabella's here. Um, and Curtis Lowe, they usually come in, but I don't have that many mods because um, because uh, I gotta really, I gotta, I just see who's dedicated to the channel. I would just like to give people mod a, a wrench, and then they don't come back for the next two weeks. You know, I need I need help with the channel, so I only got like three mods, and that's the way I usually keep it. Alexander, what is up? <laughs> Where's Jesse? Oh, there go Jesse. <laughs> she always in that pool. She living that thing. I'm afraid when I get the tow truck and take the pool, she gonna be in the pool. <laughs> she gonna be in the pool when I snatch it. <laughs> I got a mail call from BJ Silverman. I'm gonna see what this is. Got a little mail call. Always happy to get mail. Guys, send, send your channel stickers in. If you got channel stickers, send your channel stickers in for a shout out. I stick them right here on the desk. This is the desk of fame. The desk of fame. So I got a lot of space for, for more stickers. I got John Wolf sticker here. Ken Peavy, Urban Lifestyle, Todd Miller, Jesse Coins and Kids. First, that's her first sticker. Um, SJ's Mixed Adventures, King's Coins back there. Paula, my coin, Jesse New Coin sticker. So send them to the P.O. Box, guys. I do mail call shout outs. If you guys want to trade coins. I might start trading coins to, you know, we help each other out. I'm almost done with my, my Susan B. Anthony book. So I got a little mail call right here from BJ. BJ Silverman. And I don't know what's in it. Feels light as a feather. Said he was sending me something. I'm ready to open these penny rolls. I think Karen ready too. That's it. No, nothing else is in here. Empty. It's empty. Let's see what's in the paper. All packages are going out tomorrow, guys. Oh, that's a two cent coin. That's what that looked like. Let me see. My first two cent coin. That's awesome. I don't know too much about the two cent coins. But they made the two cent coins and the three cent coins for um 
to help people out with stamps or something like that. Oh, it's beat. It's really beat. Yeah, let's wear. I got some Morgans. Yep. It's not an auction today, though. You have to wait till. Uh, I won't be here Saturday. I do my auctions on Saturday. You have to wait till like uh, next Monday. I might do a makeup auction on Monday. I love my Morgans, though. So it's hard for me to let those go. This is a two cent coin. I never had a two cent coin. 1864. This this thing is really beat. But it's good to have it in your collection though. Just to say you had one, I guess. Two cent. That big old number two. Let me check the red book and see see about these it's a two cent coin check this red book see what it says about this two cent coin I love the large cents though the, the um those large cents the bobblehead and braided hair large cents I love those things This is a 1864. Okay, this is the first year. This is the first year of the large scent. Now, I can't tell the difference from large motto from the large motto and the small motto. But if that's a small motto, in this condition, it's worth $200. That's crazy. If this is a small motto. This might be a, I don't know. Thing could be worth like 200 bucks if it's a large motto, it's only worth 15 bucks and good. Might be a large motto. <laughs> exactly, Les. What is up, Treasure Trolls? Show the you and trust. Big Hank. <laughs> yeah, I got some cool. I got some cool Morgans though. I think I'm gonna get a book. I I I would I would fail. There's a large model. Okay, thank you, Mike. Like a fifteen dollar coin. You can tell about it. You and trust. I got um the Morgans. I just keep to the side. I might uh, order me a dance go album and just start sticking them in a dance go album. But I would never try to build a set of Morgans because that would be expensive. That's too rich for my blood. Karen came in with a thirty dollar donation. She says she not playing. She staying. Thank you, Karen. I got it. Let's get Karen her rose. 
pop these rows open. So I also put a 35 on the side of my rows. You see a 35, that means you get an automatic silver, 35% silver. I wish somebody quit. Uh, yeah, this is a nice coin. This is a two cent coin. I like that. I'm gonna put it into a case. So it won't get beat more than what it already is. It's 1864. That's good just to say you got one. I'm gonna have to study this. Study these two cent pieces. I'm not used to seeing them. Cameron say, let's get it on. Rock and roll them. That's a 64. Yeah, Les, I can get I can get anything. I can get any um any coin. What um what else you like besides mortgage? Flip these pages to the Lincoln Cent side because we're going to get these pennies together. I love Lincoln Cents. There's a lot of varieties in Lincolns. So let me write your name down, Karen. Your name goes nine times into tonight's drawing. He said, I may have said it already. She just got out the swimming pool, Les. It's a lot of water in her ears. Oh, Jess, I got to send you. I forgot to um, call you yesterday. I called so many people. So many people called me. I'm going to send you my number right now. Nine times, Karen get nine times. Crazy busy on Sunday. Oh, Jess, I, I, I went over to uh, TLT uh, sermon on Sunday. That was the bomb. That was unexpected. I ain't say nothing in the chat though, but I went over there. There you go. There you go right there, Karen. Nine times. Nine times fine. I'll leave it like this just in case nobody try to fight you for it. Oh, okay, Les. I'll be having some I'll be having some brilliant uncirculated coins. I'll be having like uncirculated Benjamins. I'll be having some um, XF walking liberties. I'll be having uncirculated George Washingtons. I got a lot of, I'll be having a lot of good stuff coming in. Because I search high and low for you guys. I search, I got like three coin shops real close to me. And I just go from one to the other, one to the other, one to the other, one to the other. Yeah, he is. He is. That's for sure, Les. Let's get to it, guys. Karen has 12. Let's get Karen her 12. Let's see, three, six, nine. Karen got 12 right there. Let's see if you got a 35% on the side of the rows. You'll see a 35 written in black or red. No cigar right there. 
Let's check them out. You guys like the camera angle? Is the camera angle good? There's a 35. Automatic silver. Right off the top. Right off the top. Let me get your silver. There for you a silver. Let's see what that is. 1943, baby. Let me see. San Francisco. That's cool. Get... You get three quarter ounces of copper. Three quarter ounces. St. Gardens. Three St. Gardens rounds. Some beautiful designs on the coppers, man. The coppers ain't no joke. You know one thing about copper, guys? You know one thing about copper? Um, They don't always tell you this, but they, they use copper in a, in a lot of stuff, like, for healing factors. Like, I don't know if you guys ever went to Walmart and you see the ass seen on TV section. They got those copper socks. Those copper socks that keep, because copper, like, it keep your blood flowing. Like, when you put it on your on a certain spot of your body like it helps it helps with blood flow like doctors actually use copper inside of like socks and um you know wherever you got aches and pains at gloves they actually use copper for that so congrats Karen that is yours right off the back sit that over there you get a bag pool and a and a bank bag pool So congratulations. Let's see if you got another 30, 35 on the sides. Yep, copper bracelets too, uh John. Yep. You right. Yep, Mike Badger. They help they help with like circulating the blood. They, they copper is good, man. A lot of people don't know that. Let's crack these open for Karen. There you go, Karen. We are in the his house. Let me see. First roll. Yeah, they use copper for a lot of like a lot of healing factors. Copper is also a good um like if you tear open you know, any part of your house. Like, copper help transfer electricity good, too. It's used in cell phones. It's used in your, your um, the sockets. You know, it's used in a lot of stuff. I can, I could name all day. I just don't need, I don't even remember where to start, but I could name stuff all day. Copper is amazing. So, in the way the game go again, guys, what we do, I send you guys everything from 1970S all the way to 1909. All the Indian heads, all the wheat scents, anything foreign, look funny. You get all of those coins, guys. All the 2009s. And I sit here and weigh your 83s. I weigh the 83s on the scale for you. So we won't miss a, a won't miss out a lottery ticket.
Put it in the chat for you, Les. It's in the chat, Les. Let's wait at 83. Two point five, no good. Now, guys, if you wear your nineteen eighty threes, don't get discouraged if it don't weigh right. Nineteen eighty threes have like more than one way to get you some uh, a nice payday. Now, if Lincoln has a double ear, that's a good payday. If he has a double ear or a double die reverse, and you will see the double the double die all over. Oh, Jay, you know Jess was still here. I just saw it. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to the chat, obviously. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, John. Thank you, Jess. So, a 1983 Lincoln sit, um, you want to wear it because that's the transitional year when they stopped using copper. They actually stopped in 1982. So if you catch a 1983 that weighs 3.1 grams, that's a good lottery ticket right there for you. But um, don't get discouraged, as I was saying. Check the reverse for double die. Check the obverse for a double ear. Obverse means the front. Reverse means the back. So you want to check the coin. You want to check those 83s. I check 72s. I love the 72s. 72s is my favorite, my favorite coin. One of my favorites. The Steel Penny is my first favorite. Okay, Jess, no problem. That's, that's me not paying attention to the chat. That's my fault. John's, John's still here too. He almost beat me to it. Yeah, email me, Les. Um, email me anytime, man. My email that's in the chat is the same as my PayPal. Um, so you can keep that email. Email me if you want me to get something for you or, you know, search for something for you. Let me know if you want to see some at my auctions. Email me anytime, man. There you go, just check your check your email, just. Um, as I was saying, anything from 1970s all the way down, guys. I sent them to you as long as it's in good shape. As long as it's in good shape, we weigh all the 1983s. I don't want you guys missing the payday. Cause I know you split it with me. I just got a good feeling about my coin family. If I found a 1983, I know we get split. I don't even want to split. Just buy me a, a gaming chair. <laughs> this dollar store chair hurt my hurt my back and my derriere. No, nah, but good luck though. Good luck to Karen. Thank you for sharing. Let's find something awesome. What is that? I like an S. I found a lot of, oh, that's not an S. I found a lot of 1974, uh, I found a lot of San Francisco pennies anyway. 
Here go another 83. That's William. <laughs> Indian needs. I want to find you a 1909 S. VDB or the regular S. Something. Check for that double ear. There's three ways to get. There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> you crazy. Don't tell, Les. <laughs> That's they gonna legalize that in all states real soon. It's already legalized in twenty twenty six states. 20, 20, uh, is it 26 states or 22 states? Whichever though, it's actually, it actually help people with that, uh, with depression and other, and other, and other problems that could be going on. It's actually helpful. So I'm glad they, they legalizing it. I don't partake though. I don't partake. I did before, but it's not something that I don't like feeling drowsy and eating up, eating up everything. <laughs> feeling like I'm a turtle. Oh, Texas. You wouldn't think Texas be behind California. You would think Texas and California be running neck to neck. With that situation, that's what I'll be thinking because they're so close to each other. Texas is just old fashioned, man. You got to understand the um, the East Coast. The East Coast was built well the way they the way they mapped it out was uh seemed like it was created first got the original 13 colonies over here and everything so everything out west would usually be um behind that what you would think but actually i think the west is more advanced than the east coast because the east coast still they still they try to keep up tradition and it drags them behind oh karen not a weedy but a Canadian, 1981, straight from Canada. Yeah, but you would think since the East Coast was built first, they'd be more advanced. They actually not, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. Oh, right back to back. That's a young head right there. I don't even got to flip it over. That's a 64. Is it a young head? Yep, 64, baby. She's young. She's radiant. Ready to rock and roll. That's the queen, baby. <laughs> Less crazy. <laughs> That's all you would say out loud. <laughs> I mean, ain't nothing wrong with it. If I could stay in the house all day, then I, yeah, I'd do it. But if I got to go out in the elements, man, like a snail, I'll be moving at snail speed. But I recommend it for, for, for people that got, you know, any issues. Because they got some stuff out there right now that can cure cancer. Let 
That mean that stuff strong. Can't see the mint mark on that. It's a D. Young Coin Hunter, what is up? 83, let's weigh him. 2.5. 2.5 grand. Come on, weak sense. You heard what Karen said. Spit those Wheaties out. I'm going to get some boxes from Chicago. Uh, I'll have them for next Monday. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a trip, so I won't be here. I won't be here um, on Saturday for an auction, guys. The auction will have to take place either on Monday or Tuesday. Not yet, young coin hunter. I just, I just started. This is my second, uh, my third row, I think, second or third. It does help. It does help. It puts everything back into perspective. It lift weight. It lift. It lift the weight off your shoulders. But eventually, you, it brings you back down to reality too. So it's not like you can escape from anything. But at the same time, it helps you think, think through the situation. You can't escape any anything. If you ain't, if, if your rent was due tomorrow, and you thought, "Oh, I'm depressed, and I gotta, I gotta do that to to escape," <laughs> tomorrow's still gonna come, whether you want it or not. <laughs> tomorrow's still coming. Penny saver cash change from. And doctor to oh oh to sativa <laughs> are oh, you changed penny saver i heard sativa strong next row they got some they got some strong batches out there that if you you gotta be ready to handle that stuff We're gonna keep it PG though because we don't want the the young bucks to think that's think that's the way to go. The young bucks. The young bucks to keep popping in. Let's try to find some of these wheat scents that I know hiding inside of these rows somewhere. I know it. It looked like sometimes they put the mint marks in some of the strangest places. Beautiful seventy five. Let's find some wheat scents. Wheat scents, baby. Welcome to Copper Monday, Penny Saver Cash. Here we look through some wheat scents. I mean, through some Lincoln scents. Hoping we find some wheat scents. Hoping we find anything out of the ordinary. Oops. Some heavy 1983s so we can retire. 
1943 copper cents. Trying to retire, man. I'm trying to retire with my lucky penny. <laughs> My lucky penny. I don't know which one that'll be, but I'm I'm looking. If you don't look, you won't find. It's a lot of 1969s in here. If I find a hunting today. Who your favorite pitcher, um, Karen? I ain't been watching no sports but boxing. I've been into boxing heavy. I watched Andy Ruiz knock out Anthony Joshua. I haven't been to any other sports. I haven't even been into the, um, they go a beautiful 98, Karen. I haven't even seen any of the playoff games. Yep, Alex. Every Monday is Copper Monday. Auctions are only on Saturday. Sometimes Monday, sometimes Tuesday, but the main day for auctions is usually Saturday. But I won't be here next Saturday, so I do a makeup auction either on Monday, mix it with the coin roll hunt, because I'm going to do both. I'm good at doing both. Nothing there. Come on, guys. Let's get Karen some goodies. When I put an auction together, it'd it be, it's a lot to go into an auction that, that you guys don't see. I got to, I got to set it up. I got to. Make sure I got enough stuff for, that everybody like. Auction's tough. But I like doing them. And I always check both sides of the coins, guys. Ladies and gents. It is a lot of 69s in here, and I believe... One of these 69s going to pop out and be that double die. There's a lot of 69s. We find that double die tonight. Okay, let's make sure you hit me up later, man. And be safe. Safe travels. This is the 82 large date. They made the 1982 large dates and small dates um, for Denver and Philly. But the 1982 small dates... They should all be zinc for Denver. If it has a Denver mint mark, they should all be zinc. If you catch a 1983 82 small date Denver and it weighs 3.1 grams, that's when big money as well. That's where the money is. Oh, Joe. Joe, your favorite picture, huh, Karen? 
Did the game just start? That's why it's a lot of traffic. It's a lot of traffic out there. Two point five, no good. No double ear. It is a uh, penny saver cash. It is, man. It's a big help. Oh, they're in Atlanta. Okay. Well, I guess because it's raining, that's why all that traffic out there. <laughs> oh, they're in an ATL. They're in ATL. Yeah, penny saver cash. The best thing to always have is actually this little monster right here. That's a 10 times powerful jeweler's loop right there. That's one of the best things to have. And, um, but the USB microscope is really good to show you guys on YouTube. That's really what I use it for. Because if you can't see a variety with, with that little 10 times power loop, then it means your eyes could be playing tricks on you. So you don't want to think something's there and it's not there. and so, But it does help, though. The USB camera... It helps a, a big deal because I found lots of varieties. I found 1972 double dial with that with that USB scope. It helps me out a lot for sure. But you don't want to get you don't want to get um you don't want to get dependent on it though. That's that's what that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to depend on that USB scope. It, it's a big help. But you always want to keep training your eyes to use that 10 times power loop. And when you look through that loop, keep both of your eyes open. Do not squint. Don't close one eye and try to look through the loop. Keep both of your eyes open. <clears throat> you train your eyes that way. A veteran taught me that. A veteran in the game. A veteran in the hobby taught me that. Karen having a good old time. She watching baseball. And she might take home everything tonight because she's the only donator. Nobody's fighting with Karen. Brad Seymour put up a good fight with Karen. <laughs> Karen met a match during that auction. And you guys' packages will go out tomorrow. Come on, Weak Sense. Don't fail me now. What art thou? What art thou, Weak Sense? Funny looking pen. Where art thou? Romeo. So 72. I won't have any. Uh, next auction might be the last auction for any proof sets or mint sets. I might not have I might not have any. I'm gonna do straight coins, 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 coins. Strictly coins. Because I think everybody got proof sets. And mint sets. I'll bring them back later on. If somebody asks for them. Come on, week sets. Karen. Guess what? You know you got the best. You got the best look. You got the best luck that I ever, ever known. Now, I don't know what this is. You have the best luck, Karen. I don't know what this is. And this might be expensive. 
That's Bolivia. What TLT? Dig on my buddy right there. What's up, TLT? I came through, man. So I, I was listening to the sermon, man. I love, I love, I love the sermon, bro. I love the sermon. Because you get it straight from the good book. Karen, I don't know what this is, but this thing might be expensive somewhere. This is Bolivia. Yeah, I got a six. I got a uh, forty. I got a forty uh, penny saver. Yep. No problem, big brother man. Hey. We're going to keep striving together, man. I love what you're doing. This is from Bolivia. Karen, you got the best luck. I, I never found some of the coins I never run into unless I'm opening rows for you. <laughs> that is crazy. I can sit here and open up a whole box for me. I can open up a whole box of coins for me, and I would never find any of the cool foreign coins that you get that is amazing it's a 97 that's a centavos that's a 10 centavos what is a 10 centavos doing the roll of pennies is this silver or what I have no idea 10 centavos that design on the front is amazing. That's that's beautiful design. Bolivia. Anytime, big brother, man. Hey, keep doing what you're doing, man. I'm here for you. I like what you're doing, man. Came over there. I was listening. I'm like, yeah, TLT he owned to something. God is good. Yes, sir. I'm going to put it in a little flip for you, Karen. I don't know what it is. So it's coming to you in this little cardboard. That is different, Jess. I don't find cool stuff for myself, but as soon as Karen come in and make a donation, she get all the cool stuff. She get, I, this is my first time finding the Bolivia coin. She got the Bermuda coin, Bahamas coins. I'm like, wow. And it's a 10 centavo, so I don't know what it is. Are you searching? Okay. 10 centavos Bolivia. It fit right in the penny roll. That's crazy. Next next row. Wow. Sometimes the foreign stuff. The foreign stuff gets me gets me more than the Wheaties because sometimes you might get a common Wheatie of 57, 58, 44. But when you get some Foreign money, it's like it's endless possibilities that's what's in a row. Endless possibilities. Ten centavos. It's the same size of a penny. I thought ten centavos was silver. It's like a dime or something. I sold somebody a 10 centavos. That was a, a 97, Karen. 1997. Copper Monday, baby. 
84 is too beautiful. 84 is, has a double ear as well. Don't want to pass those up. Copper plate of steel. Oh man, that might be expensive. Copper plated steel, 1997, 10 centavos. Karen might got her lottery ticket. I never found a B Bolivia, Bolivia coin. This is a 83, 2.5 grams. Copper plate of steel. What's the value? What's 10? 10 cents. Hey, you 10 cents richer. I'll hang on to that thing. Oh, 10 cent, wow. 10 centavos. Oh, look at this. It's got a rainbow color to it. Copper plate of steel. That's strange. 97 is kind of an earlier date though, so 97 this it's 20 years old already, 22 years old. 97. I got socks older than that coin. <laughs> I got socks older than that coin. Oh, here's a Woody. It's not a wheat set, but it's a, like a 1963. A Woody is when you see that wood grain going through the that wood grain going through the penny. I'm gonna send it to you, Cameron, because you always ask me what a Woody is. You see that wood grain? I remember you asked me a long time ago what a Woody was, and this is a perfect example. You see that wood grain right here? The whole coin looks like that. That because the the uh, the uh, alloy that the mixture of the alloy it mixed like that it didn't mix it didn't mix all the way and like it's a double die hold up what year is this sixty three D this might be a double die three over three. Cause that liberty, that liberty was poking out, wasn't it? Let me see. Yeah, see that. See under that. See that L. See back of the B. Side of the I right there. Yeah, you get the best coins. You get the best. I'll put that in the cardboard for too. That's a Woody. When you look at it. Oh, you can see it like that. Like your it like it like a kitchen table, don't <laughs> That's a Woody, baby. See this camera I got so good, so good picture too. Look at that wood grain just going from side to side, from left to right.
Woody's just cool to look at. They're not expensive, but they cool to look at. And it could be a possible double die, Karen. Or it might be like, um, what do you call that? Um, see, a cat got my tongue right now. Um, late stage die deterioration. Open up your eBay store. <laughs> You'll make all your money back. <laughs> Get you an eBay. You be finding some cool stuff. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Five rolls left for the godmother of the stream. Yeah, those woodies not expensive. They just, they just, they just different. They call woodies because of the alloy mixture. It didn't mix too well. It's a red sixty-four, a red brown. Send that to you. Come on, wheat sense. Come out of there. I haven't found a 2009s either. Sixty-eight might be a San Francisco. Nope, it's a Denver. this coin no mm -mm -mm -mm. yep <laughs> roller marks equal roller marks yeah that's right penny sailor that camera is a good camera it show it to you It shows it real good. Next row, down to four more rows. Don't look like Karen got a fight on her hands. They all scared of Karen. <laughs> she she put them she put them cat claws out.
Did you guys get the new 2020 Red Book yet? BJ is in the house. That's who sent me, guys. That's who sent me the two cent piece that I showed to you guys earlier. BJ, it say that two cent piece could be worth two hundred dollars if it's a small motto. And fifteen dollars if it's a large motto. My buddy Mike Mike Badger came and helped me though. I said it was a small motto. So it's still a fifteen dollar coin. Here you go, Karen, another Canadian. Got BJ in the his house. Watch your mouth. Yeah, I never, I never had one, uh, BJ. That's my first. Doom, 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 doom. Tencent Tabos. Karen just found something cool. That's a 1970. I don't know what this is, though. It's a Denver. Watch it, BJ. She's married. That's <laughs> Hakuna <laughs> Matar. 83. Oh, I thought that said 3.1. It went down. 2.6. Almost a fat Lincoln, like John say. We need us a fat Lincoln. He ain't been eating enough. He won't gain no weight. Next row, Karen got three rows left. Karen look like you're going to walk away with the gold or the copper. <laughs> they, letting you, they letting you run. A fat Lincoln. West Point Wednesdays are coming up 
So guys, be ready for that. That's going to be something new. Because I see everybody don't like pennies, and I don't know why. I love the pennies. Pennies and nickels. And now quarters. Quarters got... Quarters, any, any denomination with a lot of varieties, I run to. I don't like uh, half dollars that much. They are my least favorite. That's a sixty-three. Robert Lawson, he's a master at the the 63s, 3 over 3s. Sixty-three. That's coming to you, Karen. It's in good shape. Come on, wheat cents. Begging for wheat. Karen, do you got your book you putting together? Like a dance school album. Or like a penny book. Okay. I send you a whole. I think BJ got a whole bag of wheat scents. I send you a lot of wheat scents, and then you just fill up what you need. Fill that book up. I love filling books. It make you feel accomplished when you um, finally fill one up. That go my brother Hidden. What is up? <laughs> Hidden is in the house. Hidden not hiding. Don't get it twisted. Next row. Hidden is the computer guy, guys. That's who get everybody computer together that's in the coin community. All you got to do is reach out to him. If you don't mind helping a fellow member of the community. Or anybody <laughs> that want their computer fixed. <laughs> that's our tech guy. I'm trying to find Karen a fat Lincoln. He don't want to gain no weight around here. You went to the coin show yesterday, Hidden? You went to the coin show in, in California? Right? It was being sold for $30. That's record breaking.
You went to the Long Beach Expo. The Long Beach Expo. I think BJ went, oh, Indiana. I think BJ went to the Expo. Chris Gardner. What's up, Chris? They selling the um they selling those uh West Point quarters for two hundred dollars. They get they probably got them graded already, right? So the nineteen ninety four, you wanna check those last three columns right there, those last four, see if it's anything in between. When you search in the 94 Lincoln Sense, this is a Denver. You want to see if you got any columns in between there. That's a good expensive double die. Coin Group of Minnesota, what is up? Yeah, Chris Garden, I know about him. That's the only that's the only person I deal with, Chris Garden. It's the only person I deal with on eBay. That's my buddy. How you doing, Coin Group of Minnesota? What you up to? Thank you for coming in. We finna have two big giveaways for the chat room. So guys, you gotta smash that like button. Smash that like button. Two free giveaways for the chat. No, that wasn't that wasn't the one um coin group in Minnesota. I was just explaining when you search in the 94s, you look for that double die that's in the, on the reverse. It's a double die reverse. But that wasn't the actual double die. Here's a 2009 Lincoln Birthplace, Kentucky. Oh yeah, coin groups. That's awesome. This is the log cabin. We had 20 likes. That is awesome. Smash that like button. This is yours, Karen. If you want it, it's kind of well, I'll make a judgment on that one. The obverse is terrible. Obverse is the front of the coin. Let's get Karen a week sent out here somewhere. I love the 72s, though. Those are dynamite. 
Yep, there's a DDR. It's a DDR is going to show right here on the side of the building. Let me see. This is where you will see your DDR at. Right here in the logs. Andrew O'Neill, what is up? Trying to find some wheat scents. They're not popping out. Here's an 83 Denver. And guys, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, don't get discouraged if it doesn't weigh 3.5. I mean, if it doesn't weigh 3.1 grams, there's two other varieties on here. The Devil Ear, which will be on the obverse, front of the coin. And it also has a double die reverse. So check those Lincoln scents thoroughly, those 83s. Been stream hopping? <laughs> well, this one finna come to an end after I check PayPal. See if we all caught up. Karen's gonna take home the copper. The gold. The copper. But I got two free chat giveaways. One for Mike Wolf for making a thousand subscribers. Yeah, if you buy a slab modern gold coin, crack it out of there. If you get a good price on it. Next roll for Karen. Modern coins, all modern. I won't say all modern coins, but I won't even get a slab bullion coin at all. I did in the past when I first started collecting. And that's, that's if you just... You know, if, 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 you, if you want that specific bullion coin graded, then you could you should buy it like that. But it don't add more value to it. It don't take no value away from it either. So there's two ways to look at that. Oh, Karen, here's a pretty 2009. Whoa. This look uncirculated right here. And Karen, the extra thumb, the extra finger. Karen, the extra finger is there. Look at that extra finger. Please look, Karen. Guys, look at the extra finger, guys. Please, everybody. <laughs> I found it. Karen, you got you one. Oh my God. Check that out. That was in your second to last row, Karen. When I saw it shining, I was like, it's uncirculated. This thing is beautiful. I sent this out to get graded. I sent it to Annex. That way you can, you can save some money. You don't got to pay for a grading service. And you'll make some money off of it. That is nice. Wow, that's right, C uh, C G O M. She made a she made a nice a nice book off this one. You she can sell this raw. Oh my God, yeah, I sent this to NX, and that's I'm gonna make a video on that too, guys, on what grading services to use for what coins. You can see that thumb real good. 
I mean, you can see that. Wow. Oh no, this is like a mint. This is like a mint state sixty six. If you, if I, if I had to put a grade on it, sixty five at least. Look how bright it is. The camera can't even. The USB scope can't even pick it up. It's so bright. I ain't gonna put my fingers on it no more. But check this out. This thing look uncirculated. It'd be a sixty five for sure. That is awesome. I found that in the penny roll. Wow. Wow, Karen. See, that's how it go. That's how it go. Yep, it's going to grade out red, uh, coin group. I'm going to put that in a slab for you, Karen. Wow. She found all the cool stuff. I was just saying that earlier. She found all the cool stuff. It's because she donate, though. When she, when she, she the only donator, she get all the good rolls like she get the first pick that is cool check that out she just found a Bolivia coin a 10 centavos I never even seen one of them this is about a $75 coin right here I'll send it to NX that's what I'll do see if it's a mint mark on it nope Philadelphia Philadelphia, baby. Congratulations, Karen. This right here made it all worth it. I labeled it for you. Congratulations. Wow. Wow. If I don't find anything else today, that made my stream. And you guys witnessed it. They the double thumbs not hard. They're not easy to come by. They very hard. Very hard. And that was in circulation right there. That that I don't know how long it's been in circulation, but from that's ten years already. This 2019, that's 2009. It's been in circulation for ten years, and that thing is still beautiful. Congratulations, Karen. What else is in here? Wow. Look at Karen. That's why I always say, guys, check both sides of the coin. Check both sides of the coin. It's a 69. Got a lot of 69s in here, too. Looking for that 69S. <laughs> that is 69 Denver's, guys, in the Philadelphia's. Some of them got this thing called a floating roof. And some of them got the no FG initials. Like this one. This one kind of dirty though. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah. The initials are. You can tell when you tilt it to the side. You can't see the full initial. But you can see the. Like the bumps there. This thing is beat up though. I appreciate you, Karen. Well, Chris going to say scope. Karen get all the best stuff. Oh, and check it out. You got a weedy. You got a wheat scent. See what this is. 52 Denver. That's a weedy. It's 
It's beak though. <laughs> but it's a weedy. That is a weedy. Yeah, some of this stuff be crazy, uh, Chris. You just gotta know what you gotta know what to pick and know what not to pick. But he got some good stuff though. Some excellent stuff. You just can't buy everything you see. That's a big collector's mistake too. Just buying it because you see it. Like you say, he got a, Like you say, he got a. Uh, like you say, he got a. Um, a twenty nineteen Denver, at PL sixty seven. Go over to. PCGS website and see how many sixty sevens they graded out like that. And that's how you know if you're gonna get your money back or not. You got a 1933P? Oh, wow. Six rows. And you got three Wheaties out of them. That's cool. All Philadelphia's. Check that 44. Last row for Karen. Karen got something awesome. It was worth the wait. Good luck and congrats. And I'm going to check PayPal, see if we all caught up. Last roll for Karen. Thank you for sharing. Your stuff will be coming out manana tomorrow. All packages go out tomorrow. Look like you got another weedy coming up. Let me see. Nope, not a weedy. That's a 70. No, that wasn't a double die. It was beat. Um, it's a crazy looking uh, 68. It's beat too. You ain't open that box yet? What you waiting for? It probably got the rest of the coins you keep looking for in there. This one beat. Always say, guys, look at both sides of your coins. Never know what you'll find. And if you don't search, you won't find. These are from Ohio. I'm going to go to Chicago and get a box, too. I'm going to get two boxes. So I knew he was going to find something good. Don't give us a fat link and they're going to give us some type of variety or error. We can settle with that one.
What you waiting for, BJ? You in that penny box. That's it. We have reached the end. We have reached the end. We have reached the end. Check PayPal. See if we all caught up. And it's time for the check giveaway. Karen, you get one bag pool and one bank bag pool. Now, the bank bag. I'm going to do your bag pool first. That way you can get your extra silver, maybe a 35% silver. A 90% silver. Or a slab. You're the only donator tonight. Thank you so much, Karen. I'm glad you got that extra thumb. That thing is beautiful. Seriously. Now... You get a bag pool. The bag has 90 percenters. If you pull a green casino chip out of here, that's a 35 percenter. If you pull a red, a red um, casino chip out of here, that is a 90 percenter. And if you pull a white and blue ANA casino chip from the uh, American Numismatic Association, that's a slab. So good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Shake them up, shake them. Stick my hand in there. Karen, you got a slab. You got a slab coming to you. Oh my God. You have a slab. Wow. You got a slab in. Let's <laughs> see. You. Put your own. You got a slab, Karen. <laughs> Slavage. <laughs> you got a slab, Karen. Karen got slab time. Slab time. Hold up. Check this out, Karen. John Taylor, the 10th president. The 2009S PCGS Proof Deep Cameo 69. Congratulations, Karen. Slab. That's coming to you. Wow. You put a slab. That is crazy. That don't happen often. That does not happen often. Let me um. Now, now you get to pick your bank bag pool. 
You get to pick between number six, number nine, and number four. Pick pick a number, Karen. Pick between four, six, nine. Four, six, nine is your numbers. Four, six, nine is your numbers. Karen has number six. Number six is there. Beware. Envelope number six out the bank bag. Envelope number six. Let's check them. Oh my God. Karen. We've been dealing with these all day. We're going to keep dealing with them. You got you a five ounce copper round. That is a 1909 S VDB. Five ounces of copper. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Karen, you done hit the jackpot today. <laughs> you have hit the jackpot. Wow. Congratulations, Karen. That is five ounces of copper. That's yours. That's coming home to you. Now all you need is a display case like mine. With my 1909 VDB right here. And a display case. That is smooth. I'm happy for Karen. She walked out with the copper. Awesome gifts. Awesome gifts. It's coming right to you, Karen. Coming right at you. Don't forget to send your extra thumb off to get graded and put it up for sale. There you go right there. It's beautiful. Congrats, Karen. That's your stack. I'm going to send that off to you. You should have that by Friday. Oh, thank you, Karen. Five ounces. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do free giveaway. Free giveaways. All you guys got to do is be here. That's all I ask. And if you haven't smashed that like button already, smash that like button for me. So it will be two giveaways, guys. This is for the stream right now. This is a trio. A trio of Lincoln Scents. You have a steel penny in here from 1943. You have a gold plated 1996. And you have a copper plated 1991. Yeah, you got a nice stack, Karen. <laughs> you got a nice stack. So this is what we're going for right now, guys. For the for the chat. Free giveaway. Free giveaway for the chat. Free giveaway for the chat. When I put, when I, when you see the gold letters in the um, in the chat, make sure you're in live chat. Then you guys can go. You can pick as many numbers as you want, but you can only use one number per line. So let's get it cracking, guys. The number's going to be. I ain't gonna tell you what it's gonna be, but. <laughs> 1 through 40 as we going 1 through 50 and it's a go go ahead guys pick as many times as you want but one number per line <laughs> Miss Cough a lot BJ, pay attention. 
through 50. 1 through 50. How you get all the way to 61? And 55. <laughs> then Andrew put 99. Then Andrew put 61. <laughs> Nobody got it yet. Getting warm. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Stop, guys. Everybody, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. I knew I knew who's going to get it. The number is 34. Thirty-four. Look like Jesse got it. Look like Jesse got it to me. What y'all think? Number thirty-four. Congrats, Jess. <laughs> you got all three of those those Lincoln cents. You got all three of those Lincoln cents. Guys, we got one more giveaway, man. Smash that like button. This is one gram of three nines fine silver. This is for my buddy Mike Wolf. He just reached a thousand subscribers, guys. He been here with me for a long time, so I was a little pup. I'm halfway there, but he made it already. So I'm gonna do a giveaway for Mike Wolf. This is one gram three nines fine silver. It's for you guys. Make sure you guys smash that like button. This coming to you, Jess. Congrats. And Karen, this is also yours. End of the stream giveaway for the donator. That's coming to you, Karen. The um, Second Amendment, one ounce copper round. That's Jess. All right, guys, when you see the up, uh, when you see me type the word, Go in the chat. Then you guys can go. The owl is nice. <laughs> no problem, Karen. Thank you. You are so awesome. You always here for Copper Monday. I know you love your copper. You got some good stuff tonight, Karen. Some awesome stuff. All right, guys, and I put 
Go in the chat. You guys can go. Same thing. We're going to do one. Go ahead, guys. You can't win no more, Jess. You already won. <laughs> That's for one gram of silver. Reverse got the security stripes on the back. The diamond security stripes. I've seen it. Stop, guys. I seen it. This is the number eight. Don't be late. Number eight. Number eight is the number. Who got number eight first? The person with all the good luck today. <laughs> all the good luck. Mike Wolf didn't ask me to do it, but I did it for Mike Wolf. We gotta we gotta celebrate each other, guys, when we when we make those kind of milestones. That's right, Les. That's what I see. Come on with this buffering. Internet aren't even being used. Congrats, Karen. Congrats, Jesse. Oh, wow, Mike Wolf. This coming to you, my brother from Karen. I know what's wrong with the screen, with the stream. Four, four, four. Is Mike Wolf still in the house? Oh, three, three, three. That's a magic number. There's Mike Wolf. <laughs> I should have asked him that too, Karen. I should have asked him. 
Did he want it or want me to give it away? <laughs> but hey, it comes back around, doesn't it? Hey, over here. That's yours, Mike. I'm going to send you something extra too, man. Congrats on 1K, bro. That is yours. Thank you guys for an awesome stream. It was the quickest Copper Monday I ever had. But I appreciate you. Especially Karen type donated tonight. I'm going to put this over there in your pal, Karen. That is yours also. Nice scores. Nicely done. Nicely done. Well done. No problem, Mike. Send me an email. I'm, I'm going to check. I don't think I got your um address. So send me an email. And Andrew is doing a giveaway for 333 subs. You at 338 now? <laughs> Hi right, BJ, Karen just found that cool penny in her box, so hopefully your box show up some cool stuff too, man. That's that, that's a, that's a very sought out sought after Lincoln scent, the one that Karen found. Collectors collectors be dying to find those. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. <laughs> okay, Andrew. <laughs> you do it, you do your giveaways when the, when the numbers tri tripping up, triple up. That's cool. That's different. Thanks, BJ. I try. It's all right, John. We can sit here and chat for a minute. 
It's over. Karen, Karen won everything. <laughs> I got it, Mike Wolf. Be on the lookout for that from me and Karen. Guys, be it, be sure to be here for West Point Wednesdays. It's gonna be crazy. Starting this Wednesday. We're going to be looking for W Mint quarters. And there will be some awesome giveaways as usual. As usual. So, did you guys enjoy Copper Monday? Did you, just, did you guys enjoy all the copper that we saw go out? To the lovely Karen, that's the godmother of my stream. See a few new edges in here. Keep your fingers crossed. That's a beautiful state quarter. Got a double. This has a double die though, right here. In between this thing, but it's not on this coin. This look good. Are you going back to school tomorrow? <laughs> okay, Mike Wolf. <laughs> School starts back tomorrow. They don't get the kids no time to stay home, huh? They push them right back in school. Ellis Island. Call it a night, guys. After this, after this roll, there's another one. Quarter's got a lot of varieties too. Oh, you only had five days left. I don't know, it just seems it don't last that long no more.
those 70 quarters and you want to you want to find these quarters too at 83s they didn't make any mint sets so you find those in good shape you want to keep those Nice quarters in here. That's Hawaii, Florida. Alabama. You guys, you you go um you can still you can still build a whole map book. One of those quarter maps, state quarter maps. You can still build a whole book if you coin search the um if you coin row hunt quarters because these quarters not not hard to catch this is a 1971 you want to check that 1971 guys for a double die reverse they work for nice penny Oh wow. <laughs> Andrew was scuffing quarters and nickels all day. Oh that's 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 nice, uh Jess. When they school start back. Guys, this might be a double die. Can you guys see that? On the word states. Hard to tell if that's split though. Might just be fat. Put that one to the side. Take a closer look at that one. Wow, 10th and 4th. You pushing them out of there, Jess. Oh, he's going to be a freshman. John got a freshman. Y'all got some big kids. This has some type of variety. I can't remember where it was at. Oh, first week of September. Okay, cool. First week of September. Yeah, that's when school usually start back in, in the first week of September. I think I found silver, guys. I found silver. I found silver. Check that out. Are you guys ready, ready for West Point Wednesdays, guys? We're going to be looking for silver and W Minute Quarters. Check this out. I found silver. Oh, my God. I don't remember where I got these rolls from. Yeah, I do. I found silver, guys. <laughs> I've been finding some good stuff, man. <laughs> I got some silver. Yippee! Yippee! Thanks, Mike. 
Boom! Some silver. No mint mark. Becca, what is up? You missed a cool copper Monday. Karen came in and said, hey, put your hands up. And she walked out of here with the gold. Actually, the copper. Oh, and a gold dollar. How you doing today, Becca? I just found some silver in my robe. Just found some silver, baby. And the next coin up is a 2009. Some awesome rows, guys. Some awesome rows. I'm scared to even open that row now. I got silver. I love silver. Got some silver, baby. <laughs> Since she always late for the party. <laughs> I got a 2009, guys. American Samoa. And this thing looked uncirculated. It's circulated, but not just heavy. Not heavy circulation. <laughs> Fact. Oh, you too, Mike Wolf. They got you using that. I asked Mrs. Black Steel, what was that supposed to mean? Guys, check this out. First, there was a silver. Second was a 2009. Fourth, there's another silver, guys. There is silver. There is some silver. Oh, my God. It's got to be silver. 61. 1961. You guys going to love West Point Wednesdays. Especially if I'm getting rolls like this. And I never coin roll hunt quarters unless it's at the uh, laundromat or the car wash. This is my first time going to the bank to get quarters. Or second time. Before the West Point. When the, first, when the West Point quarters first came out. That's crazy. Oh, and I got a mint mark. A 61 Denver. Got some more silver. I got the silver touch tonight. Now watch, I'll never, I, I won't find silver for the next three months. Got some silver. One more silver, I'll do a backflip. But you guys can't watch it, though. I'll just say I've done it. And you have to uh, take my word for it. <laughs> wow, I, I got to open this roll now. I got to. I wasn't at first. Whoopsie. I wasn't at first. But I'm finding silver. I can't stop. I can't stop. 
West Point Wednesday, baby. This is giving y'all a taste of what's to come. So I had a 2009 Ender, which I already know is there. A lot of 2018 quarters still floating, floating around. And New Mexico has an error. Not this one, though. Yep, two times, Mike. Two times that silver. I know I never find no more silver. Oh, there's an Illinois. Check that out. It's my favorite state quarter. Twenty first state, baby. This is the Sydney Rodney. I mean, Caesar Rodney. You want to check that for a spitting horse? No spitting horse. All right, guys, that's the end of the line. You guys have a good night. There's my 2009. Appreciate you guys always for hanging out with the Steel Man. Let's see. I'll talk to you guys later on West Point Wednesday. Guys, I found silver. So you know what West Point Wednesday is going to be. Chaotic. Have a good night, guys. Take care, peace, and love. Black Steel out.